Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, very quick video today. Uh, I don't know, I, I have, I get a lot of email, emails. And in the emails that I receive, they, they all tend to fall into a couple categories. But one of the main categories of emails that I get is, I want blank, blank, blank watts, how much drive it take? Or how many watts drive does your box need that I saw on YouTube. And you know, <clears throat> what bothers me about that is I spend a lot of time in my videos covering the exact amount of drive that I use, what you should use, what you shouldn't use. I show it on the meter, then I show the amp. I'd like to do it again because for some reason this GI7B tube gets the most amount of questions about that. And I don't know why. I don't know if that's because it's Russian and people think that it's weird or something or maybe they're just not used to that tube, so they, they think they have more questions, but they really don't. I mean, tubes are tubes, you know? They're, they're gonna put out. Um, anyway, whatever. This is my single GI7B tube. I uh, Amplifier, I have one of these left. Um, this box has auto start, meaning that you just flick the switch on, the blower comes on, the filament comes on, it runs for three minutes, gets the tube hot, then flicks the high voltage on, then you can key it. Very simple box. Fixed input tuning, it's got tune and load, that's it. You just peak it for maximum power. That's it. I'm going to show you guys the drive <clears throat> on this tube. Now we're looking at a bird, 43P. Peak is on. All right. And I'm going to do this with a microphone. So you're going to hear me saying Claudio, which is annoying, but maybe that's where the confusion's coming from because I use the tone generator. You know, I have a, a tone generator that I use sometimes. Maybe people don't hear me talking, so they don't, maybe they don't think I'm putting audio into it. I don't know. But anyway, this is a 250 watt slug. So we'd be looking at the top scale, okay? So this little line over here is 25 watts, that's 50, that's 75, that's 100, all right? So I'm recommending, you know, 15, 20 watts carrier, something like that. And then when you talk, your modulated forward power should be about 75. <clears throat> 75 watts is more than adequate to drive this box. You can use less, okay? Um, these tubes per spec should be around 700 watts per tube output. You know, we're all getting more than that, um, but that's up to you, you know, that, that's your choice. But again, we're gonna show you, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna key to mic, okay? We've got a one pill drive in it. So this is, you look at the little lines there, it's 5, 10, 15. There's three lines there, that's 15 watts carrier. Audio. Audio. That's 75 watts. Audio. All right. Now hold on, I'm going to put the box in the transmit here. Okay. We're going to switch slugs. We're going to put the 1,000 watt slug in, which means we're going to be looking at the bottom scale. So this first line, the big line, would be 100. Sorry, that would be 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. Okay? So you should get, since we're putting about 15 watts in, about 120 watts carrier on the output. Let's see what we get. We're getting 130, something like that. Audio. Audio. 800 watts. And that's with 75 watts drive. Realistically, you could use 40 or 50 watts. It, you, you know what I mean? It's, you're not going to hurt anything. So let's start cutting the drive back, all right? And I just, I'm just going to use the variable on the amplifier. It's just a little one pill. So let's cut this variable back to three quarter. And, oh, let's turn the amp in standby. So 250 watt scale up top. So we got, I don't know what, seven watts, a little over five watts carrier. Audio. That's. Audio. 
less than 75, maybe 50 something, 60 something watts. Okay, let's see what that does. Let's put the amp into AM. Let's go back to the 1000 watt slug. This is what about 60 something watts. Audio. You're still getting 700. So, you know, you don't need to drive the living bejesus out of these things. Now, let's cut it back even further. Let's go to halfway on the one pill, all right? And let's check that. And you can always adjust your carry and stuff. I'm just concerned about maximum PEP right now. So this is just the driver, the one pill cut back to half. Audio. Oh, that's 50 watts, all right? So let's see what 50 watts gives us on the 7B. Put the amp in the AM. Audio, oh, five something. Not a lot of carrier. Audio. So, but that's because of my radio. You know, I've got the amp cut back, but the radio is not. It's just, you got to adjust these things. But what I'm saying is if you put 50 watts in, you're going to get five something on the output. You put in 650 or 65 watts, you're going to get 650 to 700. If you put in 75 to 100, you're going to get 800 watts. You know, and we can show that. Um, Let's just turn up the driver all the way. And we are at audio. And that's about 100 watts going in. I mean, like 85, 90 watts going in, something like that. So I hope this helps answer questions about drive. Um, you know, I, I don't know how else to be more clear about it, but between 10 to 12 times your input is what the output's going to be. It's always in that realm, depending on the tube. An 8877 is a much higher gain tube. That's a totally different story. A 35B is different than this. But, I mean, most, most triodes are somewhere between 10 and 12 times multiplication. So, I hope that helps, guys. Um, Mountaintop Electronics, thanks for watching.